hello everyone in today video we will learn how to create a security policies and what are the different matching criteria and next we will discuss how does it work okay so I created a PPT on security policy so uh, this is the security policy fundamental concept so this is our PA firewall and lots of packets are coming to the firewall and some packets uh, some packets are allowed and some packets are blocked so how Palo Alto firewall will take this decision to allow a drop the packet so there are two criteria. So, uh, one is basic criteria and next we have more granular criteria so in basic criteria if it is using only source so source zone and destination zone to forward the packet that comes under basic criteria however if you want you can create more granular criteria in your security policies so in that we have source address destination address port application URL source user and hip profile I can show it to like here we can see we have uh, we have source zone we have address user hip zone address application services and then action and profile so these these are all the different criteria you can use to configure your uh, configure your security policies so here let us verify what are the other criteria columns so here we, we can see we have multiple criteria to create the security policies security policy rule we have name tag group type source zone source address source user source hip profile destination zone destination address application services URL category action profile option and there are multiple criteria so you, you can see tick button on uh, each criteria if you want you can add the group also so if you tick this group it will come in in the security policies rule so we don't need we don't need group uh, to create the security policy you can you can configure according your need according your network need how you want to configure how you want to allow the packet and block the packet so according to your need you can configure your security policy rule so this is the basic and um, granular criteria to create the security policies rule so we by using these criteria we can allow or drop the packet and next we have the rule types we have uh, three types of rule and uh, we can create three types of rule one, first one is intra zone then we have inter zone and then we have the universal intra zone means when uh, when we we allow the packet in same zone for example uh, we have in this example you can see we have three zone uh, trust untrust and DMZ we we have created three different zone and if if the packets source zone and destination zone both belongs to same uh, for example trust same trust if packet is belong to same trust trust zone then it is called intra zone and inter zone when we are allowing the packet from trust to untrust that is inter zone e universal when we are allowing allowing the packet from both the zone trust to untrust and untrust to trust that is called universal zone so th these all are the basic uh, rule types that that we can create in our Palo Alto firewall and next we have the default security rules so we have uh, intra zone and inter zone we can see it in in our uh, uh, web view here we we can see we have intra zone default inter zone default so these rules by default it is created in in your palo alto firewall so you can see inter zone by default it is allowed and inter zone by default it is denied so uh, if you if if don't if you don't want to create any security policy rules but uh, but if any packet is coming from same zone for example l3 to l3 you have created some zone l3 l3 zone to l3 zone in that case that packet will be allowed however if you want to forward that l3 packet to any other zone to untrust or dmz zone 
in that case that packet by default it will be denied so for inter zone you have to create a uh, new policy rule new security policy rule and that is called ex explicit policy rule and by default this default policy rule we call, call it implicit security policy rule so we have two types intra zone and inter zone and next next uh, rule match so uh, for example if you have created multiple security rules and uh, for same the packet if you have two security rule for same source and destination zone if you have two security rule it will come from top to bottom so when that packet will come first it will uh, first it will check the security rule number one if that packet is allowed in that security rule number one then it will not go for the security rule number two it simply it will look for security rule number one and it will take the uh, allowed decision action and it will forward that packet so uh, the matching criteria criteria will work from top to bottom so if top rule is matching to that packet then packet will be allowed or denied based on that security rule so you so when you want to uh, when you are creating any security rule so you must uh, verify each and every rule how you are creating if it is matching to mat matching to first rule in th then it will not go for the second security rule so you you have you you should have this in your mind while creating uh, security policies rule and and next we have the rule configuration so to configure the rule uh, first i think we need to create some uh, zone i haven't created any zone here uh, we can create some l3 l3 zone l3 i don't have any l3 interface right now however and trust zone i can create that is also for l3 interface we can create some trust that is also for the l3 interface and next we can we can make this as a layer 3 and all other configuration we will do later and this one will also make i say layer 3 then we have to commit now commit is successful so we are going to create some security rule uh, will we you can give at like uh, tr trust to uh, here you have to give some name trust to untrust and then you have to select the source zone oh, so i am selecting as a trust and then here you can specify some ip address which you want like if you want to allow only few ip addresses for this security rule you can add that ip addresses here so uh, right now we are allowing for all the ip addresses and here you can also add some uh, source user and hip profile we don't have any specific source user but how if uh, like if it is necessary in your network environment then you can use uh, a specific source user and so in that case this security rule will work only for uh, specified source users and next uh, here we are going to define destination zone i'm allowing all the packet any i'm allowing all for all the services action we are going to allow so this is called inter zone security rule because we have created only for trust to untrust if any packet is coming from untrust to trust then that packet will will be dropped it will not be allowed because uh, uh, for example if you have any server uh, in your 
network and if you want to access your server from outside outside network for from untrust network in that case that packet will be blocked so in that situation you have to create security policy rule and you have to allow you have to allow the action from any any request coming from outside network to the inside your network so now we have to commit so in incoming videos we will uh, we will do some more we will create some more security rules we will create some scenarios and we will verify how does security policy will will work so this is the simple way to create security rule in your palo alto firewall and in next video we are going to discuss the net configuration how does net work and what are the different types so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching